shooter or threat situation in any of our schools, and when is your most recent and what is your most recent response time in a drill? The BHS auditorium was filled with students, eager to hear the answers to some of their most adamant concerns. I believe our goal for the forum was uh, just trying to get the students more informed on issues and then feel safer at the school that they're attending. I was very excited to see the questions. They were very thought out. Uh, there was a very, very broad spectrum of questions and they didn't stay focused in one area. Uh, they, wanted, they had questions and they wanted answers uh, uh, all the way around that different spectrum. The topics in the discussion ranged in questions on gun policy, mental health, social media, and texting while driving. Uh, more generations of, of mental illness, and uh, we really need to focus on the opioid abuse, the opioid epi epidemic we have right now. There was also some discussion about a $50 million grant that could potentially go to our schools and about how that money would be administered. If um, the state legislators decide to allocate that money, the Bemidji Area School District will spend that money on what we, and um, in, in participation with students and administrations in the school district, feel that we can make the best effort to ensure safety of all our students. At the end of the forum, students in the audience were allowed to ask additional questions to the panel, as well as voice their opinions face to face about some of our panel's answers. One of the most important things I felt about the forum was I am so proud of our Bemidji area school, schools and students and administration, and especially the student council for working really hard at pulling this forum together. We weren't able to go over all the questions, but I think that the questions that they were able to go over uh, definitely trickled into the other questions that were left and that they covered thoroughly the questions that were asked so I guess I feel more informed so I'm assuming that the students in the crowd also feel more informed about what is happening at like a state level for like school safety. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.